Hi, and welcome to this Antibody 101 video series. Our goal is to highlight high-level concepts for antibodies in particular and proteins in general. My name is Kathy. I have a PhD in synthetic biology from Stanford. I've trained as a postdoc in computational protein design at the Institute of Protein Design, and I've worked for many years as a scientist in biopharma. Now let's get started. So today is part one of Antibodies 101, titled Antibodies Are Lobsters. So why are antibodies lobsters? Well, they're virtually shaped like one. So if you look at a lobster, it has a body and it has two claws, which are basically the business end of the lobster. And that's true for antibodies as well. So from a high level, an antibody has kind of a body, as you can see in the middle, and then two claws, one on the left and one on the right. And these claws are what are called antigen binding sites. And those are the places where it grabs onto an antigen so the antigen is just the name of the little piece of protein that the antibody can hold on to. Now, if we zoom in for a little bit of detail, an antibody is made out of what is called a chain. And specifically, it's made out of four different chains. So two of these are identical to each other, the heavy chain with the other heavy chain, shown in blue here and yellow here. And then the other two are also identical to each other, the light chain in green, and the light chain in pink. So what a chain means in protein biology is that it's a discrete unit of a protein that goes from an N-terminus to a C-terminus. So if you were to pull this protein apart, you would actually get four different pieces, the blue and the yellow and the green and the pink. And what we mean by the same here is that if you look into the sequence of amino acids that make up this chain, they will be identical between the blue and the yellow and between the green and the pink. So let's zoom into even more detail here. So this is no longer a cartoon representation of the antibody, but a space-filling model from a crystal structure. So this is what an antibody sort of looks like in real life. And you'll see again, there's a blue chain that runs all the way from the left to the right, a yellow chain that runs from the right to the left, and then two of the smaller chains in green um, and in pink here. So here I wanted to highlight some of the numbers associated with this antibody. So in total, an antibody is about 1,400 amino acids. So each chain is made up of units called amino acids, and we can count them up to get a rough size. So about 450 of those amino acids come from the longer chains, or the heavy chains, shown in blue and in yellow. And then about uh, 250 amino acids are in each of the light chains, so right here and right here. So that gives you a total of about 1,400. Now, in the last slide, I mentioned that the blue and the yellow chain are identical in sequence, and the green and the pink chain are actually identical in sequence as well. So that means the number of unique amino acids that you actually have to keep track of to reconstruct this entire antibody is only about 700. Okay. Let's zoom in with even more detail. So rather than a space filling model, this is called a cartoon representation of the model. And here you can see more details specifically that there are uh, sheets or beta sheets that make up most of what is an antibody. And again, we have the long blue chain, a long yellow chain, short green, and a short pink. So those are the heavy and the light. And if we zoom in on the lobster claw part of the antibody, we have two units called the VH and BL, or variable heavy and variable light. And those two are kind of the important parts of the antibody. So if you focus in on that area, that's about 260 amino acids total. About 130 comes from the VH or the heavy chain, and about another 130 comes from the BL or the light chain. So now let's zoom in even further. Now we're only looking at the VH and VL, and actually, in those VH and VL domains, only three CDR loops, as they are called, on each of the chains are the really, really important parts. So CDRH for the loops on the heavy chain, there's three of them, and then CDRL for the light chain, and there are three loops here as well. And the total number of amino acids in the three loops here is about less than 30 amino acids, and the same is for the light chain. So when you really zoom in, the very, very key residues in an amino, uh, in an antibody 
are only about 120 amino acids. Okay, with that, thank you for listening with us. And I hope you remember that biology breaks every rule that it makes. So take all the ideas here as one way, but not the only way that things can work. So please like and comment and see you in the next video. Bye.